Are you ready to get your first 100 customers for your pressure washing business? I'm glad you joined me here today because that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to share exactly what you need to do to get your first 100 customers for your pressure washing business. Now, if your business is brand new, this is perfect for you. Even if your business has been around for a while, this is going to help you jumpstart your customer acquisition strategy so that you can get as many customers as possible and happy customers for your pressure washing business. But first, why does this matter so much for a pressure washing business? Well, here's the thing. It's a competitive landscape and getting customers that you keep on a regular basis is gonna keep your business healthy, right? It's all about acquiring customers and then keeping them for life. Long-term customers are the lifeblood of any successful business. These strategies are gonna help you secure those customers and keep them for a long time so that your business can grow and be sustainable. Okay. Step one is all about knowing your service. What do you offer? Is it driveways? Do you clean roofs, gutters? Remember, knowledge is power. And in your case, it's all about that pressure washing service that you can define. So the customers in the future who are looking for those things know exactly what your strengths are and exactly what you're gonna offer them. All right, next up, let's talk about branding. Don't just go by your name. Choose something catchy, like a catchy name, design a cool logo, and get some business cards. And don't forget a simple website. If you don't have one, check out the link below to Nighty Sites for $9 a month for a simple, professional pressure washing business website. It's like your online business card. It introduces you to potential customers and gives them a lead form where they can quickly contact your business and understand what it is that you offer. All right, step three, all about getting some local word of mouth going. Start in your neighborhood, hand out flyers, chat with neighbors, pin up some info on community boards. It's like planting seeds in the garden, right? Soon it's gonna to start to blossom, but you have to get that word of mouth kickstarted in your local community. Flyers, talking to neighbors, sharing that you have a business, wearing a branded t-shirt, all those things are gonna help. Work hard to spread the word locally about your business. All right, next up, let's get a good deal going for your business, all right? Step four is all about a launch discount. Maybe it's 10% off for the first 30 customers. It's a great way to get people excited about your services. And it's also going to create that word of mouth that, hey, there's a new pressure washing business around town. Maybe I should give them a try, right? So do that launch discount for the first set of customers. Maybe make it even great, maybe 50% off for the first 30 customers. You're gonna keep those customers for life, right? They're gonna be repeat customers. So if you have to give it away to get started, no problem. You're gonna earn it back tenfold in the long term. All right, step five, use social media. You may not be a social media person, but create a simple Facebook page and Instagram account, share before and after photos of your pressure washing work, provide some tips on maintaining clean surfaces, and even share some behind the scenes action, right? Keep it fun and engaging. That's gonna help people get to know who you are and build a little bit more trust in hiring you. All right, step six, network. Partner with local businesses. This is one of the best things that you can do. Maybe the coffee shop down the street needs their patio clean. Offer them a deal and ask if you can leave some flyers at their counter afterwards, right? That's gonna be a win-win. They get a deal, you get a customer in the coffee shop, but now they also become a local business partner and distribution channel to help get the word out about your pressure washing business. All right, step seven is gold. You gotta ask for referrals and reviews. Satisfied customers are going to be your best advocates. Encourage them to spread the word and leave reviews online, specifically Google reviews. That's gonna not only help customers learn and trust you, but also the more reviews you have, the more consistently you get them, the more you respond to them, and the higher star rating you have, the more likely Google is to bring you up when somebody's looking for a pressure washing business, right? Which just has this effect of catapulting your business to new heights. All right, last but not least, always follow up. Send a thank you note or take the time to make a quick call or send a quick email to check in after a job. Build relationships, that's key. It turns one-time customers into regulars and also helps facilitate all the rest of the things that you're trying to do, like get referrals and reviews. So be sure to follow up and build relationships with your customers. If you like this video, please subscribe. These are the eight steps you can take to get your first 100 customers for your pressure washing business. It's all about hard work, smart marketing. Remember to like this video, tune in to us. And if you don't have a website yet, give Mighty Sites a try. Until next time, wishing your business mighty success.